The Pine Grove Youth Conservation Camp in Amador County has been in continual operation since 1945. The camp provides rehabilitation and reentry services for offenders through career training, therapy, and teamwork. As juvenile justice realigns to counties, CDCR is committed to keeping this historic camp open to train participants in wildland firefighting skills. Pine Grove Camp being the oldest conservation camp in the state of California has always worked with youthful offenders. It's a history that we carry and that we're very proud of. The main role of the camp, as it works in conjunction with CAL FIRE, is to provide firefighters to protect the community and assist in firefighting throughout the state. Pine Grove serves a maximum of 100 participants who train and perform as paid fire crew members One, two, three. while receiving trauma-informed treatment and educational programming. There's a whole plethora of uh, services that are available to the youth. Um, every day is a working day. Campers work eight hours a day on community service projects and training as certified wildland firefighters. In the off season or when not deployed, they help the community with projects like fire and flood abatement. We'll participate in vegetation management programs, working with our county roads to uh, clear the roadways of brush, pile burning for uh, nonprofits. One of them that we do is called the Wood Angels. Um, they donate wood to uh, elderly and those in need every year. So we're very proud of that project that we do. Camp participants live in a communal dorm. They help prepare and serve food under the supervision of kitchen staff and share duties to make life as normal as possible. The intimate campus includes a dining room, classrooms, and indoor and outdoor activity spaces. Almost all the youth have an opportunity to uh, learn how to cook, um, different festivities, different holidays. They're able to bake things and cook things. There are no barbed wire fences or watchtowers at Pine Grove. Nature is all around in a program based on honor and personal achievement. Many come from urbanized environments and simple exposure to nature and an outdoor lifestyle is a life-changing experience. The environment, you're around a bunch of trees. You know, when you're incarcerated, you don't get to see stuff like this. When I, when I was even out, I didn't even see stuff like this. The trees came out to me, the weather was nice. Uh, the, uh, the dorm, the dorm, the beds are better, the beds are better, the blankets are better, um, and then the food, the food is way better as well. The food is way better. So yeah, this place is just more freedom. You can have a lot of experience here, find fires and everything. It's a lot of responsibility that I never thought I would look forward to, but honestly, like it really, it really opened me in many ways to know that when I get out, I know I'll be successful in certain things and maybe much more mature. Family visitation occurs on weekends and free phone calls and video visitation are also available. The training curriculum that our youth offender program goes through to certify them as fire crew firefighters is the same basic training that all firefighters get across the entire nation. Hand crew members are trained for up to five weeks in fire line education and annually complete CAL FIRE's Wildland Crew Certification Exercises. During the fire season, crews are deployed alongside professional fire strike teams. In recent years, they've worked on some of the state's largest and most destructive wildfires. Uh, sometimes they're on 12-hour shifts or sometimes they're on 24-hour shifts. Uh, it can be demanding, uh, but it's rewarding. For more than 75 years, the fire camp has been a pillar of the Pine Grove community. The locals adopt campers as small town heroes, inviting them to take part in parades and cultural outings. Campers have traditionally responded by donating thousands to local charities, also creating thousands of holiday bows for distribution to local businesses. The community outpouring for us has just been outstanding. The amount of support that we've received um, is just overwhelming. Truly, the asset that we can provide to the community is something that we can't really get anywhere else. It's uh, very fulfilling though. I live here local in Amherst County, so I'm able to see the impact that we are having here in the community. Um, my family sees the, the projects that we do and how it benefits the, the community. Trauma-informed treatment and programming assist in making a successful transition to the community upon discharge. 
Mentors and life coaches connect with campers through treatment programs that address childhood trauma using education, individual mentorship, and group therapy. One-on-one -on -one counseling, treatment planning, uh, we provide groups three times a week, and the groups range from um, different types. We have different types. We talk about anger management, we talk about substance abuse, we talk about trauma, CBT. We treat each youth as a whole, and we assist them into learning their own triggers. Counselors work one-on-one -on -one and in groups with participants to facilitate personal change and to disavow their criminal pasts, including former allegiances with gangs. Mentors recognize personal strengths and maximize treatment in all aspects of their lives to reduce the risk of reoffending. We address the thinking, right? We get them to look at their own thinking. Um, the, the activating events, the things that started or happened before the response, right? We get to, we help them, um, we navigate them through this process of, of thinking differently. How are we going to think differently? Because if we think differently, we act differently. This is just a story for them if they allow it to be. This is just something that they had to walk through. This doesn't ever have to happen again. This can just be a moment in time, a learning experience, and a story that they can share with others, and that's our goal. ARC provides uh, life skills. We have various curriculums that we teach the youth, as well as one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship. We may teach them about finances, um, credit building, um, re-entry. Antonio Wellington spent two years at Pine Grove before his release in 2017. He went on to work for five years on a federal hotshot fire crew before returning to Pine Grove to share his experience as a life coach and credible messenger with ARC. When I was at Pine Grove, I learned a lot about myself. Uh, I, I learned how to become a young man. I learned all of my uh, work skills while I was at Pine Grove camp. Um, I learned my triggers. I learned what worked for me and what didn't work for me. You won't find any other program that is like Pine Grove Camp, especially when you're dealing with a youth aspect. Uh, you get a lot of different job skills here. Um, you have a lot of different opportunities as far as mentorship to teach you a lot of good things to take out into society with you. Participants in CDCR's Conservation Camp program are eligible for opportunities to further their careers in the fire service profession. Through Assembly Bill 2147, those who have successfully completed service in a conservation camp as a wildland firefighter are eligible for expedited record expungement. After discharge, participants can petition their county of commitment for record expungement. If they are successful, participants can earn state licenses and apply for positions that require them, such as municipal fire departments. When they reintegrate back into the community, um, oftentimes a lot of these guys, they want to continue doing this and they want to go through a Ventura program or some fire program because they've realized the value in, in helping their communities. Camp participants are also eligible to apply for enrollment to the Ventura Training Center, an 18-month volunteer program for the formerly incarcerated to receive advanced firefighter training and job development. Our program provides a previously incarcerated an opportunity to attend a CAL FIRE Academy as well as address their criminogenic needs through the rehabilitative efforts that are offered at VTC. As of February 2023, four former Pine Grove hand crew members have graduated from the Advanced Firefighter Training Academy at the VTC, all of whom have earned full-time employment with state or federal firefighting agencies. We don't guarantee employment However, we do have job developers on site that are there specifically to help these individuals apply for employment. To be eligible for camp placement, participants must be recommended by county probation staff, meet camp criteria, and be assigned to Pine Grove by a county judge. Campers must be between 18 to 25 years old and have their high school diploma or GED or be able to complete their education while serving at Pine Grove. Certain offenses like sex crimes and arson are disqualifying. Physical and emotional readiness for the rigors of camp life are essential. You have to be ready to do the right thing even when nobody's looking. Um, somebody that's hardworking and determined, ready to follow the rules of the captain. Um, every day is dedicated to going out and serving California on any wildfire that they end up on. I've seen such a change in such a, you know, the time that we're here. Um, knowing where they come from, the struggles, and being able to see them grow into men 
um, with life skills, with work, with um, employment skills, um, the way their thoughts change, the way they, they talk is changing, is so um, gratifying because they're our next generation. They're gonna be our neighbors. Pine Grove is not a summer camp. For those ready for a positive change, it provides access to a well-rounded experience that includes counseling and life skills that contribute to knowledge, ethics, and overall success. Thank you.